Hondas. My Anna Honda don't want what? Is that Harley's? I think they might have some, yeah. Do they have free beer and hot dogs? No. Free beer and hot dogs is usually at Harley dealerships. Actually, Sky Power Sports usually has free hot dogs, not beer though. So uh we got a good group. Um and it's probably about a two hour ride. I do have low battery, so I'm not gonna be recording the whole time. But uh, just to let you guys in on a little secret, I'm actually thinking about trading in the R6 for something else. Uh, and I will go into that reasoning here in just a minute. So we gotta get there though, because they close at five like every other stupid power sports place. <laughs> All right, I can't get on my bike <laughs> from either direction. <laughs> If I swing my leg over, I'm going to kick you. <laughs> All right, everybody good? That's a cool helmet, bro. Good to go. Ooh, traffic not looking nice. Three Harleys, four sport bikes, and uh, the Versus. Oh, we got some stragglers. The cluck. Oh, sh**. You didn't see that freaking duck fly like right at head level? <laughs> like right behind you, dude. Thought I was going to hit one of us. <laughs> Oh snap. Power line down. So anyway, I came through here, you know, like the day after the storm. And uh, coming through here now, it's like everybody's got all their sh out by the road, you know, and piled up. There was a huge tree, huge tree up here on the left that uh, was knocked over. They actually had to cut it to keep it from being on the road. Yeah, there it is. Just like straight tore that in half. It's gonna take a ton of garbage trucks to clean all this up cleaning crew is going to be at it for days tree came down on this fence right here yep dude there are a ton of bikes out tonight tonight today another bike Sorry. that was nice of that uh person to stop and not cut our group in half if a tree falls over in a graveyard do they bury the tree in the graveyard i don't know Maybe they they chop it up and turn it into mulch for the graveyard. Dude, I think surprisingly it didn't hit any didn't hit any graves. Go, 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 go. I've been summoned. We're gonna go the back side into uh, sugar loads. Okay. So. I'm down with that. <laughs> Fake cop? Yep. How am I at the back again? B ride just passed me and took my position. Meanwhile, me and John got the fastest bikes here. <laughs> and we're in the back. I didn't figure out how to set the time on this damn bike. Nope. <laughs> I read somewhere how to do it, but didn't rem I couldn't remember. <laughs> UPS truck. <laughs> Why like every twisty road we get onto, there's something blocking us. I mean, he's going though, he's shit. Dude's moving. Damn, look at that tree. It ripped in half. 
tree huggers are all super pissed off. How dare you, Hurricane Irma? Hurricane Irma's like, you, I'm nature. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. Day to day to day to I can't hit them Mariah notes. Damn, look at the line for the landfill. All the branches and... <laughs> That's awesome. Woo 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 woo! Damn, it says we're 48 minutes away still. 48. That's a cool sign. It's like a big ass pencil. You want to play frisbee, bro? Man, yeah, I got a frisbee. Got a frisbee right here. What are you doing? No, oh, dude, your brakes are fine, man. Dude, after being on a bike for a while, and you know the vibrations whenever you like touch, it feels like weird. You need to stop taking my lane position, bro. Huh? You keep speeding up and taking my lane position, man. Not supposed to do that. When? When? You did it like three times. Anybody need gas? Dude, what is that shirt? I've seen that before. Uh, it's, uh, used bike parts. Bike strippers, yeah, Doc. <laughs> that's, that's a great logo. Well, that's great, man. The pilot rode for us? Yeah, I was looking at those same exact ones. Dude, they got awesome reviews. I mean, they're they're riding great so far. They feel good. Right. Just need to get them, get them more in the twisties, you know? Why are you planning on getting it traded in if you just bought tires on it? I'm just entertaining it for the, the time being, seeing what I would be able to get. I can sell this bike for more than what I bought it for at the moment. Oh, for real? I'm looking for something with like the, the power more in mid-range, because the power on this is all hot, top end. Right, yeah, so by the time that I use it, huh? They say that it has low and mid range. I don't want a jigster. <laughs> Why? Because then I'm a jigster, bro. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm not ruling anything out at the moment. All right, got a little pit stop, and we're back on the road. It says it's going to take us about 35 minutes to get there. Hopefully, it should be uh, good riding from here to there. Ready to drop a couple gears again? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Gotta say, man, I fuck, I love the power of this bike in the upper RPMs, dude. It's just, it's a monster. Noise. All right, so what up, Blackheads? We're kind of middle of this ride, and uh, we're headed up to RC Hill Honda, basically a Honda motorcycle dealership. And uh, I'm actually entertaining possibly getting rid of the R6. And the reason I'm entertaining that idea is because I've been watching a lot of uh, videos and on other bikes and whatnot, and I, I came across this one review uh, by this pretty big YouTuber. I'm not going to drop any specific names, but he was talking about how for this certain bike, the power band was basically like the torque kicked in like mid RPMs and how that was incredibly useful, especially riding around in traffic. Now, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I live in Orlando and so that all rhymed, awesome. And so um, basically like the fact that the R6 has all the torque like right here, And the upper power band, right? As soon as you reach like past like 11,000, it's like a lot of that power I'm never ever touching, you know? And, uh, you know, coming from riding my other bike, which is uh, a Harley Dyna Lowrider S, um, that bike is incredibly torquey down low. It's got like, I don't even remember, like the foot pounds of torque at like 3,000 RPMs is just crazy awesome. Now, the R6, I absolutely love this bike. It is really nimble, you know, it's very flickable. But I'm not, I'm not ever gonna use it to its full potential unless I'm riding track. And unfortunately, the closest track to me is, I think they, it's called Jennings, which is like past, like Jacksonville. Uh, 
basically like just before Georgia, which is quite a hike from Orlando, you know, like a good couple hours. I do definitely want to, you know, go up and do some track days, but I'm looking for something. Obviously, I'm, I'm looking for a, possibly a replacement Super Sport, uh, more than likely a replacement Super Sport. And I definitely know I'm not going to be able to use it to its full potential. Uh, I'm a bigger guy and this bike hauls absolute ass, uh, you know, the R6. And so, like, I'm, I've, gotten, I've gotten very comfortable with it. Um, obviously, I would like to get more comfortable in turns, but that's, I mean, I'm not going to be able to, like, riding on the street. Uh, it's just too risky. You know, I don't want to low side or high side and go off the freaking side of the road and hit a tree or something or, you know, if there's oncoming traffic or anything like that. To me, it's like if you want to if you want to freaking be a track rider, then go to a track, you know, and from what I hear, you know, like riding track actually greatly improves your uh, riding skill. And that translates or I guess not translates, but spills over into riding on the street as well. I mean, you're improving your skills on the track. Obviously, you're going to be a better rider overall. So I'm actually considering um, a couple of the bikes that I've reviewed that have like a really good uh, power band, mid to high RPMs, like where all the kind of torque is. One of the reasons I went with the R6 is because it was uh, one of the top performers in its class. Um, you know, like the engine's been in production for quite a while. Obviously lots of aftermarket parts. And uh, the fact that I could find them used all day on Craigslist and uh, the prices were actually pretty good whenever I bought it. Another thing that I didn't actually kind of got used to with the R6 was the seating position, but I mean, uh, whenever I knew it was more designed for track use, which is totally fine, you know, it was my first super sport, but I didn't realize how much, like in terms of the seating position, how much that would make a difference on like rides like this. So you're definitely leaning way more forward. You basically have to squeeze the tank with your legs in order to take the pressure off your wrists. Or like, you know, sitting upright. Yeah, I can sit upright, like right now. You know, I've got hand on throttle, other hand on my leg, sitting upright. But you know, you're still leaning way more forward. Um, and then riding a, actually I, when I rode John's CBR 600 uh, the seating position was way more comfortable. And uh, sitting upright was actually uh, way more, I wanna say like commuter friendly. So this has just been my experience thus far with, with the R6. It's a freaking great bike, just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, the fact that like for, for what I do, you know, riding around town, we do some of these rides, like longer rides out in the countryside every now and then, you know, getting out of Orlando. But I definitely wanna sooner or later, you know, try try my hand at riding track. But yeah, say like, look, we're, we're like, 4,000 RPM right now. So if I were to really crank on it right here, nothing, no movement. That's pinned all the way back, right? Nothing, 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 nothing. Now we're starting to get somewhere, starting to feel some power, still not much. I mean, and I'm up to, it's just anything below like 11,000 RPM, there's nothing. But it's that's why it's, it's definitely tuned more for track use. But, I mean, obviously the uh, the counter to that is, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'll downshift a couple times. So like I'm in, I'm in sixth gear right now. So fifth, fourth, third, So that's awesome. I mean, obviously you can get to the power if you downshift a couple times, which I mean, yeah, you're gonna be doing that on a bike. It's like, oh no, you got to downshift for power? Big deal, right? I don't know, I'm just, I'm sure I don't have to explain to many of you guys why I'm interested in upgrading in power. Uh, it's been kind of a natural progression, which is funny because it's been a natural progression between two styles of bikes, right? So I got the Iron 83, got really comfortable with that. And then uh, I ended up buying the R6 while I had the Iron 883. Well, because of the R6, I got really used to basically like handling, you know, leaning. Obviously, uh, I got more comfortable with higher speeds. And then at that point, the R or the 883 didn't seem as 
I don't know, it, it felt a lot slower. And then the guys that I was riding with, you know, it, I wasn't able to keep up with them. Like I had to really push the 8083 hard. So I ended up trading in the 8083 and I got the Lowrider S. Now the Lowrider S is a torquey monster. Like I said, the uh, specs for that are just totally insane. At like 3000 RPM, the torque is just monstrous. To the point where like I need a bigger rear tire because I can't keep all the power like on the damn ground. At lights and stuff, launching from lights, the rear tires just skrrr. There was one time we did a launch, it was like four of us uh, at a light and they said I left a, a skid mark, basically rode out a burnout and the skid mark was like 10 foot long, which is crazy. <laughs> I kind of wish I could have been able to see that, you know, from an uh, outside perspective. I'm just kind of entertaining the idea of getting like a, a sport bike and a, still a super sport, but with a little bit more power with uh, that power range and a little bit of a different RPM range. You know, like I said, like uh, I would say mid RPMs would definitely be way more usable. Obviously, I'm not going to use a, a freaking leader bike to its full potential. But I'm also not using this to its full potential. So if we're already not using a bike to its full, full potential. So that's what we're on the way to go do right now. And then next week, uh, I think, I forget what dealership. They're actually doing a demo day. They're talking about having the R1 available. But, I mean, the R1's, a, the Yamaha is a great bike. The R6 is a great bike. Like I said, top of its class. It's finished, like... And uh, I forget what the statistic is, but one of the reasons I chose it, in addition to the reasons that I said earlier, is because, like I said, it's the top of its class. In like 90% of the recent competitions and races, like it's won like 90% of them, which is, I mean, that's obviously a testament to the rider, but that's also a testament to, sorry, that's also a testament to the, to the machine, you know, to great manufacturing. I, I don't have to tell you guys that Yamaha obviously knows what the hell they're doing. You know, they've been around for a long time. The longevity of the machine speak for itself, you know? So anyways, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to pull up into this uh, dealership, check out some bikes, and go from there. We are here! We have arrived! Africa twins, those are cool. Right all the way here, Ron. Yeah. All right, let's see what's inside. Well, we weren't able to work a deal up here at RC Hill Honda, but I'm going to be selling my bike. So if you guys are interested in buying an R6, hit me up. I don't know if it'll still be available. I'm going to post it up on uh, Instagram and all that stuff. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for joining. Much appreciated. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Hit that bell icon while you're over there so it notifies you of future uploads and all that. Live streams, all that goodness. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.